I'm in the 76 Dodge Brougham RV looking toward the front looking at the the bed area over the cab and um, I've noticed some uh, mildew smell a little bit of wet smell and I think that's probably where it's coming from is up there I know I've got the the previous leak in the back fixed and the leak that was in the bathroom vent uh, fixed and uh, I think I may have a little bit of leakage up here in the front end and uh, looks like it's been uh, probably worked on at some point in the past because the walls on each side here have carpet on them and I know that was not original pretty sure that was not original uh, someone's probably worked on it and just put it put carpet on the on the sides here so uh, I've started taking um, off the this rubber molding from around the windows on the inside and um, when I took it off here I've got half of it off on this front window started noticing a little water um, wetness right up in there we have had rain for several days so a um, little water right there so probably have a little bit of a leak uh, around that window and I uh, haven't gotten to this side yet so we'll see what that one looks like uh, but I want to take all this um, carpet off and see what the the framing of the each side of this looks like make sure it's solid if it's not um, make it that way and um, fix any leaks there may be and um, get this thing in, in better shape up here all right so I've gotten these pieces of carpet down on either side and um, the left side over here looks to be in pretty decent shape I'm sure that was the original wall covering uh, the original paneling that matches everything else in here and uh, they just put the carpet over that to, to make it match the other side but as I suspected this side's been replaced and um, put some uh, pretty thin plywood chipboard on there and uh, I'm sure to replace where that maybe that window was leaking at one time something like that um, looks like we do have one wet spot right there looks like it's probably coming from around that window and um, like I said up in the front there's a little bit of water around that front window so I'm gonna take this off this inside sheeting off and see what's under there um, kinda anxious to see what's under there so um, take that off see if there's anything that needs to be repaired inside there get that done looks like this decking is has some soft spots as well so I'll probably end up replacing a lot of this this decking where the the, the bed is and I think that's all I'm gonna do for tonight we'll try to get back on this uh, in another couple of days I'm starting to take the um, wood siding off of the inside here that someone has replaced um, at some point in the past and I am finding some evidence of some water damage especially down here at the bottom up here in this front corner and looks like the this decking on the the bottom of this um, cab over bed area uh, a lot of that's probably going to have to be reframed because it looks just dipping down it's just um, riding out there so I'm uh, going to get this other piece off and see what that looks like behind there and see what we got to work with So I got the rest of this side uh, paneling off and the sides actually don't look too bad um, but definitely the bottom toward the bottom in the corner and then all along here you can see it's uh, giving way and um, is uh, probably in pretty bad shape once I pull that sheeting off there it's probably going to have to be um, a lot of that replaced in there so that's what I'm going to get busy on. Here's another shot of what it looks like when I've just gotten the top layer of this uh, paneling off. So it looks pretty bad. And it's wet. It's pretty wet there. Didn't have any idea it was that wet. Um, really didn't smell too bad till I started taking all the stuff off the, the bedding and everything. Alright, so I've gotten most of the decking off. I guess all the decking off here now and uh, it's very wet we have had a lot of rain lately 
so uh, there's a pretty good source of water coming in looks like multiple places to make it this wet and um, um, all of the the wood and the framing toward the front is just completely shot and completely gone a little bit of this back toward the back is solid but um, a lot of that's going to have to be redone the insulation is wet so I'll have to pull that out put some more insulation in there I've cleaned out the bulk of all the rotted wood and insulation, wet insulation that was in there. Still looks pretty nasty. I don't think I'm gonna have to let that dry and just uh, vacuum all that stuff up good. But uh, I'm still gonna have to uh, do some framing and take out some of the existing framing, like this piece right here should extend all the way out and it just uh, rotted away. So I'm gonna take that piece out and put another long piece in there um, so I'm gonna have to kinda figure out how to reframe this whole thing because most of it's uh, um, most of it's gone and the, what's left is not really um, something I can build off of I don't think so uh, it's gonna take a lot of work but things are usually worse than you expect them to be when you when you get into something so um, we'll see how we how we do from here So as I'm working on this, I'm trying to determine how much am I going to have to remove before I start building it back up again. And it seems like in any kind of project like this, I usually have to end up removing more than I originally thought I would have to. And that's the case here. Um, I've taken off this um, underneath uh, this piece right here. It's um, kind of like a kind of like a press board. Piece, this headliner um, and that showed that revealed um, the metal top of the van the front of the van and then this is the skin of the camper and there's screws every couple of inches all the way around the, the perimeter of that and so I've backed a bunch of these screws out so that I can eventually take this piece of wood here out and the way they built this um, they had a piece of paneling here all along the the bottom surface and they had a frame of two by twos and maybe two by fours two by threes looks like maybe and then another piece of paneling on top so when that's all sandwiched together and fastened that makes a, a strong platform a strong surface so what I'd like to do is get back to that unfortunately a lot of the framing of course is gone and even the the, pan the bottom paneling is gone um, so I think what I'm going to do is try to um, remove this framing maybe take this out um, and then kind of rebuild it, bring it all back in. I'm not sure if it's going to fit through the through here, but um, that's kind of the plan. And the other thing I have to think about is this door. It's not a door, but this um, piece here that folds down, folds up and down, so that you fold it down when you're going to sleep up there. You can fold it up uh, if you want to walk up here and then get in the driver's seat or something so I gotta make sure that all this opening is gonna be exactly the same also so anyway a lot of things to consider um, obviously gonna have to <clears throat> replace um, a lot of wood underneath on the bottom of the sides here probably over here too I started taking the paneling off this side and looked like they had covered up some bad places with another piece of paneling so I'm going to pull all that off and see what has to be replaced over there so uh, that's where we are we'll continue to take things apart and um, when we get to a certain point we'll start building it back up still working on taking up the what's left of the framing and this decking 
up here in this uh, bunk over the cab. And uh, what I've decided to do is try to get all of this, all of this that's left off in one piece, and then I can remake it um, to fit, and then um, put it back in. Um, and what I've what had to do is under here there were a lot of screws that were um, in the going from the the steel of the cab up through these wooden pieces and there are also some staples that were going through the aluminum that's underneath this um, kind of underneath this eave uh, into the wood so I've had to remove those and um, I've removed some of the screws that were going into wood some of it just goes straight up through the paneling what's left of the paneling so I've removed some of the screws and then I've gotten over to this side and um, trying to get this off and uh, this is the aluminum from the outside overhang and looks like there's um, staples that went into it from the from this side over here coming back and um, so I'm just having to pry those off I'll have to when I put it all back I'll have to figure out how to attach all that but um, that's kind of where I am now so hopefully I can get all this off in in one piece and measure and figure out how far out it needs to go out toward the front and get um, a piece of paneling to go or like eighth inch plywood or something to go underneath it build it back up um, it actually had plywood here and then paneling on the top so that's what I'll do next alright here's what it looks like after I've gotten all of the wood out of there all the rotten wood and the framing and the paneling and everything down to the aluminum skin and uh, gonna have to replace some wood on the sides both both sides and then up in the front oh, all along there all the way across on this side and uh, build a new frame and a new platform to put everything back on